Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Foreplay Long Time by Boston. So this is just going to cover the intro, that um, kind of big power chord section at the beginning, and then that intro solo that I just played. All right. So the first thing that happens though is those power chords, a little bit in the, after the organ section. So that power chord part sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so that moves around quite a bit and might be a little bit difficult to memorize. So let's start taking a look at it here. We're in standard tuning. Start with just a basic power chord shape the entire time, starting here at the first fret on the fifth string and the third fret on the D string. So you're gonna keep that shape together the entire time. So you're gonna play one, three, four, three, one. All off that fifth string. Then take it down to the sixth string and play the same power chord shape on four, three, one. So we have this so far. All right, now jump back over to the fifth string. You're going to play three to four, then one to three. I'm sorry, one, three to four, one to six, and then eight. So all together there. So from the beginning. All right, so you can consider that kind of the first time through. So just kind of practice that, get that memorized first. The second time through, it's gonna sound like this. All right, so that's going to be one three one three off the fifth string. Then come up to the fourth fret, and now you're going to play the one on the fourth fret off the fifth string over to the fourth fret on the sixth string. So we had this one three one three, and then you move across the two fourth fret power chords three times. We have this. All right, now come down to the first fret and do the same thing here off the fifth string and then off the sixth string. All right, so from that first fret on the sixth string, go up to the second fret. Then four, six, eight on the A string. Ending it with sixth on the low E string. All together for that second time through. All right, so here we kind of pause and we start the next version of it. So let's take a look at that. We're we'll paused here at the sixth fret where we ended the last time. And then go down to the four, then over to the four on the fifth string. Pause there. Then back to the four on the low E, up to the six. So we're just going. All right, then we start speeding that up. Four, six, four, four. So you kind of go faster. So I'll just kind of play it in time. So 
after you've done this, the fast version of it twice, you come back down to the fourth fret on the low E string, and then you have this. You jump to the first fret here on the fifth string, then fourth on fret on the low E, down to two. Then jump up here to the sixth fret on the A string, then up to the eighth fret, hit that a few times, and end it at the sixth fret on the low E. All together. All right, then the organs come in and stuff, and then we do that exact same riff again. And then we uh, wait for the kind of the next part of the song to start, and we add that intro solo that I played. So let me just play the first phrase of it real quick. All right, so that's uh, this is what I played at the beginning of the video. So we have two whole step ends at the 16th fret on the B string. Then over to the 17th fret on the G. Pick it and then hammer on 17 to 19 by picking it the second time. Over to 18 on the B. Then 20, back to 18. Then holst that bend to the 20. Two of them, and then you, as you're holding the second one, pick it and release it. Then you have this which is 18 on the B, 19 on the G, to 20 on the B, back to 19 on the G, back to 18 on the B. All together. Next phrase. So we have sliding into the 18th fret on the B string, then 17, 18, 20 on the high E, and then a whole step bend there at the 20. Then we have 18, 17, 18, 17 twice on the high E. Then you're gonna pull off that 18 to 17 over to the 18 on the B. So then we have a pull off from 20 to 17 on the high E, then to 18 on the B, back to 17 on the high E. And end that lick with the 18th fret on the B. So all we have all together. Ending the solo with the. That's sliding into the 17th fret there on the G string and picking it again to 18 on the B, back to the 17 on the G, and back to that 18. Then four whole step bends at the 20th fret on the B string. And just hold that last one. All right, so stay tuned for the next uh, video. We're gonna take a look at all of the verse and pre-chorus and chorus parts, that little acoustic part, and the second solo, I believe, in the next lesson as well. I'll see you there.